I'm just putting my hands into a big bag. This is the wheat that we grow to produce flour that will be made into bread. These wheat seeds, they have to be quite strong because sometimes we plant them in the autumn and then as the seeds are actually starting to poke up through the soil, there might be frost or snow. Sometimes we plant them in the spring and there might be a long period without any rain when the soil is really dusty and dry. All the energy to make the crop grow is contained in these little tiny seeds. I don't just plant seeds to feed people, I also plant seeds to feed birds. This is a fairly tangly crop, you can probably hear it, we're swishing our way through it at the moment. This is what's called winter wild bird mix and it's a crop that's grown specifically to feed wild birds in the winter when their natural feed supplies dwindle away. It's a mixture of different plants but they all produce seeds. The pods containing the seeds are all hanging down and in many cases actually the pods are empty because the seeds have already fallen out. They've fallen onto the soil and the wild birds have come in and eaten them. In fact as we were walking up here we saw about 30 or 40 field fairs that had obviously just had their early lunch today. They're an absolutely lovely grey colour, they're very sociable birds and they love coming on to this farm because they know that they can get a steady supply of seeds to eat. In the springtime my bird friends that we feed in the winter will make their nests in the hedgerows and the grass margins around the farm. When their eggs hatch the young birds will be really hungry and so the adults will work really hard all day collecting insects from across the farm to feed their young and that's very important to me because those insects could well damage my crops. So that's why I plant seeds to give my bird friends food in the hard times when food is scarce. From all the tiny seeds I plant in the ground, this is what I get. I'm just walking into a big building here my voice is echoing a bit. Every seed that I plant in the ground produces about 20 to 25 grains of wheat ready to go to be made into flour. It's really, really important that it's kept dry. That's the sound as the grain trickles through my fingers onto the heap. Before the seeds that I grow leave the farm, ready to be made into flour, there's just one last thing I have to do, and that's to clean them. In here there's quite an old machine, but it's a really useful machine. And what it does is it takes out of the grain all the bits and pieces that we really don't need. So things like bits of straw and bits of weed seeds and bits of other plants and very small amounts of material but they get gobbled up with the combine harvester and we don't have a chance when we harvest the crop to be able to take all those bits and pieces out. So this is where we do it on this machine here and if you like I'll turn it on so you can get the sound of how it works. Here we go. Did you hear that? That's the sound of another of my little bird friends. That's a robin. He's actually sitting on the tyre of the tractor watching us and singing a little. Well, he's probably hoping to get some of this grain that I've got in my hand. The, the grains in my hand are really, really hard. They're like little bullets. You can't make a mark in them with your thumb. And if you put them in your mouth and you put them in your teeth, you can 
just, just bite them and they're really, really hard and chewy. They don't taste them very much, but they're quite nice to chew sometimes. I tend to find I chew grains all the time. But to get what people need to eat out of these grains, they need to be ground up hard to make flour. And that's a very specialised job. And that's why these grains need to be sold to the mill. And a lot of the special grain that I grow goes to a very special place to be turned into flour. It's a windmill. And if it's a windy day, the sails on the windmill will be turning right now.